From the 1790s to the 1840s, the area around Caven Rock was plagued by what historians refer to as the ancient colony of horse thieves, counterfeiters, and robbers. The outlaws that inhabited this cave would prey on the flatboats that were carrying passengers or cargo down the Ohio River. So we have made it to Cave in Rock, Illinois, and this place is one of a kind. And in order to get here from Kentucky, we had to take a ferry and that was so fun. But right now, we're gonna go check this cave out. Cave in Rock is a 55 foot wide cave that was carved out of the limestone rock by water thousands of years ago. The cave sits on the bank of the Ohio River in Southern Illinois, just across the river from Kentucky. And it was first discovered in 1739 by French explorers. By the 1790s, this became a hideout for river pirates, bandits, murderers, and fugitives. Samuel Mason, James Ford, Isaiah Potts, America's first serial killers, the Hart Brothers, and counterfeiters all use this cave as a villain lair. It's even rumored that Jesse James once visited this cave. And I'm just gonna take a moment right here to apologize for the shakiness, because as you can see, the ground in this cave is incredibly uneven, and it was also incredibly dark in this cave. The only light was coming from the entrance and the hole in the ceiling. And this cave goes back about 200 feet, and as you can see, there is a lot of room here. And that is why river pirates used this place. And it's actually a very habitable cave because of the hole in the ceiling that would allow the smoke to escape and it probably would have kept this cave fairly warm. This cave has been a tavern, an inn, and even a church, the Big Creek Baptist Church. We are in the middle of nowhere today, and it was especially the middle of nowhere back in the late 17, early 1800s. The pirates would lure their victims to shore with the promise of food, supplies, and entertainment. But once they got into the confines of the cave, they quickly learned there was no food and they were the entertainment. The pirates killed the inhabitants of the boat and stole their cargo. In 1790, counterfeiters Philip Alston and John Duff used the cave, and counterfeiters again used this cave in the 1830s. In 1799, Samuel Mason hung a sign over the cave entrance saying, Wilson's Liquor Vault and House of Entertainment. He then sent his scouts out to lure unsuspecting river travelers to the end where they would be robbed and dispatched. Oh, I know, it's so slick from so, so many people walking on it. Yeah. The infamous Harp brothers, Micaiah Big Harp and Wiley Little Harp, were at the cave in the spring of 1799, and they are credited with being the first documented serial killers in the United States. It's estimated that they killed over 50 people. Gang leader Samuel Mason is rumored to have evicted the Hart brothers from Cave and Rock after they stole the clothing of a traveler and then pushed them over a nearby bluff just for kicks. None of them remained here long. They fled when they were attacked by a group of bounty hunters known as the Exterminators. But that didn't stop others from moving in. Soon after, James Ford and his gang used Cave and Rock as a hideout. And this is around the same time that Isaiah L. Potts was operating Potts Inn just north of the cave. Travelers checked in, but sometimes <laughs> failed to check out. Those rocks in front of us are not wet. They are just polished from thousands and thousands and thousands of people using this path and putting their hands on the rock. They are just so slick and so smooth. <sighs> and that is the Ohio River and a little ways downstream, it converges with the Cumberland and the Tennessee Rivers. And then even further down, it dumps into the Mississippi at Cairo, Illinois. And those are the stairs that we had to come down to get to Cave in Rock. Oh, and there's also a town called Cave in Rock, and it was established in the mid 1800s. And it is a tiny little river town. And Cave in Rock is also an Illinois State Park. And that is the way we went to get to Cave in Rock. But if we go over this way, there is another path to take. So, like another little one right there. 
I grew up in this part of the country and I came home for Thanksgiving and I brought my brother, my son, my daughter, and my granddaughter on a day-long gallivanting adventure. And last week I showed you our visit to Mandel Rock. This week we're in Caven Rock and next week will be a continuation of our Western Kentucky adventure. Those look like they were man-made. room right back here. Look at that. Just another little room. Let's just go in here. Look Jasmine, I found a little room. Some of these holes look man-made. Like those right over there. Those look man-made. Yeah, what do you think those little, like, spots? Those are, like, rocks, right? That are in the set, that are in the sediment. That the settle, like this right here. Yeah. Like a rock, right? Or, like, a different type of... Yeah. Stone. Yeah, it is. It's just a, a stone right. that was in the sediment. Here's another one. Look, there's a cave up there, Jasmine. Climb on up there and see what's up there. This water probably was up that high. Oh, yeah. No, it, it does. It, I'm sure this place floods all the time. Look how close we are to the bank. Oh, my gosh. There were all these little caves all over the place on this path and even though I should not have gone up this slope of fallen rocks I did anyway because that's what I do I am too curious I wanted to see what was inside this cave oh wow that's kind of cool Oh my goodness, I got up here. Jake, you're not gonna climb all the way up to I'd the be top. Careful. Don't get to anywhere You can't do that, no, come on, the rocks are. Is. Yeah, anything that's a little fast, I'd be careful. Jacob! Just for the record, I want it known that I do not condone this in front of us, but he does come by it naturally. He's as curious as I am, and he is an adult, so what are you going to do? I guess he made it. Oh, let's go, this bastard. Ooh, as if we haven't climbed enough. Oh my God, walking back up that hill, it just about killed me. Holy crap, oh my God. Oh. Look, this is, you can look, this is how you look down into the cave. By the time we were finished exploring, we were so famished and I was super excited that we found this restaurant here in a state park in the middle of nowhere. It was fantastic. It was cozy and warm and inviting and the food was absolutely excellent. And it had this nice little fireplace that made it super cozy because it was kind of cold outside. And then the restaurant, it overlooked the Ohio River. I imagine that this is a very nice place to have dinner in the summer. And we all had the catfish to eat and it was delicious. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed yourself because I certainly did. I mean, we saw some really cool stuff. I mean, we saw some caves. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button. I will very much appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye now.